Hi YouTube, uh, I have a small correction to make. I uploaded a video, I think I named it um, possible bug in Clipper or something uh, while measuring the uh, resonance frequencies and I actually overlooked something there so the implementation is correct, how Clipper, uh, Clipper made it. I still leave the video up there. This is the correction video where I show what I missed and looking at a single, I just looked at a single while loop last time and calculated lengths for that and in considering the single loop it's actually correct what I calculated but I failed to see the combination of two while loops and how the look ahead will change the result like that. I still leave it up there because I think it's interesting to see the reverse engineering part maybe and yet yeah, this is the correction with a short, short exp uh, explainer. Okay, um, some of Maybe you're interested why I was wrong and why this one here is right. I was basically calculating the length of those movements and I was look uh, and I, it came out that this length is one by two f times one by square root of two and it should be one by two f only. This is uh, a factor which must not be there for the right uh, resonance to be measured. And that's right if we look at the single thing I looked at but what I failed to look at is how moves are combined over different loops. So let's look at our printhead. This printhead has basically three positions. One is x, y, which is uh, which we get, where is it? Somewhere above, I think I didn't look at this. Uh, yeah, this is outside of the code we can see here. But basically, it's that x and y we see here. It's a position. It's the position of the printhead after homing, we, uh, which is somewhere above in the code. Then we have the position x plus dx, y plus dy, which is calculated in those two um, iteration uh, calculations. And of course, there's also in the other direction when we are in an odd number of oh, sorry, in an odd number of uh, iterations in the while loop, we the sign is negative, and therefore we go in the other direction, which is x minus dx, y minus dy, and basically those change a little bit during the device change over the while loops but for a single step the change is not very big so let's go here and say number of loops and loops uh, iterations in the loop i mean of course uh, the while loop so we're starting and when we start the very first time and zero we are in this position and go to this position here. That's the first movement we can see here. And then we go back. And the time I calculated here is the time we need for this movement and the time we would need for this movement by its own. So at the very beginning, the frequency is actually off for the very first movement. But that doesn't matter because that not really considered in the later. Then what happens when we go to the next uh, loop? And that's where it's get in, getting interesting. We are going, we are at this point, and then we are going to that point, and so on. And that's what happens. That's now N2. So now we have the look ahead algorithm of the kinematic system, which basically means um, when the QE is filled with movement, um, it looks at how the next movement will be. And for example, let's have this, this would be a step, a single step, and that's what we calculated here. And when we have the next thing, which would look like that again, the look ahead is intelligent enough if it's the same direction or it actually looks at the angle of the directions and that's where the square corner velocity is uh, used for to calculate the differences here it will just even that out to a single movement and that's what we get here so instead of what i calculated 
would be I calculate basically from d plus dx plus dy and that's x y I calculated this movement but we have x minus dx x minus uh, y minus dy in the next it, uh, loop which by its own oops wrong two which by its x y by its own movement would look like that but thanks to the look ahead uh, it's actually looking like this um, this of course uh, this x is being the velocity and this is x is being time and the positions where it's at those times and this for this red movement it's actually at uh, the time is 1 by over 2f or it's almost if we look at it uh, exactly um, there's a very small offset which doesn't matter because uh, it um, why is it offset a little, uh, little bit because we have the iteration of the frequency like by that one a new frequency and we combine the movement of those two frequencies so it's something like um, one uh, uh, t is one over four f plus one over four times Yep, something strange happened. F plus DF. That's the actual T we got. And so that's slightly off, very slightly from 1 over 2F. But this DF is rather small compared to F, really small. So we can neglect that here. And then we get, if we neglect that, we get 1 over 2F. So that's basically what I did wrong. And was, I'm sorry if I made a fuss out of something still think it was interesting to look at it maybe it was also interesting to see when you look at such a code how to analyze what is actually happening is not always easy if there's not a lot of documentation and um yeah i mean all you get is basically the code the code is the documentation is something we hear a lot and yeah you just need to reverse engineer what is happening here and yeah as you can see i was looking at a single loop and that was not enough uh, considering that we have a look ahead i hope it was still interesting and yeah see you next time with hopefully something not wrong